सो हेलो एवरी वन यू आर लिसनिंग टू कोमल टाया एंड गाइज दिस कोर्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज़ क्वांटम मकैनिक्स एंड इन सो गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच एवरी थिंग लाइक रिगार्डिंग बेसिक्स एंड रिगार्डिंग प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो ऑफ नेट एंड ऑफ गेट राइट एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एडवांस लेवल ऑल्सो एंड वंस वील कंप्लीट दिस क्वांटम मकैनिक्स यू विल सी दैट वी हैव नॉट ली वी हैव नॉट लेफ्ट इवन अ सिंगल टॉपिक सो टॉपिक ऑफ क्वांटम सो गाइज जस्ट लेट्स विदाउट डिलेइंग जस्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विदाउट फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज ऑपरेटर सो आई एम गोन टेल यू दैट वट आर वट ऑपरेटर्स आर एंड लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक आई शुड टेल यू लाइक अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ क्वांटम राइट सो क्वांटम गाइज इट्स कंप्लीटली पॉस्टुलेट्स बेस राइट सो आई शुड टेल यू वट इज द फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑपरेटर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टीच सम वन दैट वट इज द ऑपरेटर वट इज द easiest lang- language which you can use to make someone understand operator so guys basic definition is that the basic definition is that whenever you operate something on a function you will get new function that is the use of operator but what operator basically means if you want to understand it in a very simple language so i will say suppose in classical mechanics if you want to calculate kinetic energy or potential energy what you will do tell me what you will do what so you are going to put formula to calculate this potential energy or kinetic energy or anything so guys these all are observable kinetic energy potential energy these all are observable right so what we do in uh, in quantum mechanics we are going to use operator so that we can find the value in classical mechanics we are using the formulas but now in this quantum mechanics we are going to use this operators so we we will use operator on a function and we'll get a new function that is the sole purpose of using operator so i think you got the uh, easiest definition of operator right so let's start with our with our very basic operator that is position operator right so guys this position operator which it is wait let me just select the pen yeah so guys this position operator which is x so this is x and this is y and this is z right so wait let me just zoom it first yeah 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 let's zoom it so guys this is position operator which we can define in th- three direction that is x y and z right and whenever we'll use operator we'll always use this cap right this cap will always use to define a operator right so for position operator in x direction if i want to define my operator i'll write it like this x cap right and for this y in y direction if i want to write my position operator i'll write it like this y cap right so if i want to write this z one so i will write z cap and the sole operation like the sole use of this is that it will be used as multiplication it will be used in multiplication purpose suppose you have this operator right you are taking a x operator and you are applying on this function this is some function you are taking some function right so this is some function and you are applying this operator over this x square so what it will do it will simply get multiplied with this x square and it will be so we can write it like this how like x into x square right simply multiplication it it will be used as multiplication and it would be x cube clear x into x square that would be x cube and that's what i wrote right so that is the sole purpose of this clear guys yes, yeah so what we'll do now again we have taken over fx any function right so we have taken over this so guys listen this is x this is the function uh, this is the operator and we are again applying on any function so it will be written like this x into fx simply we will be using it as a multiplication clear so now let's see about momentum so fine so let's see about the momentum operator what it does so guys we can write this momentum operator in three direction if i'm writing it in x direction so i will write it as px if i'm writing it in y direction so i will write as py and if i'm writing in z direction i will write it as pz right so this was all about this momentum so what is the value of this operator like how to how to write that so if you are using px 
पी एक्स ऑपरेटर सो दैट मीन्स इट्स इट इज इक्वल टू दिस माइनस आई एच कट डेल बाई डेल एक्स ऑल्सो गाइज वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट दिस एच कट इज एच बाय टू पाई ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट दिस एच कट इज एच बाय टू पाई राइट एंड ऑल्सो लिसन ऑल्सो दिस इज माइनस आई एच कट डेल बाय डेल एक्स राइट सो समाइम्स इन एग्जामिनेशन सपोज इफ वन क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एंड यूर आंसर कम्स लाइक दिस आई एच कट clear and like your answer is this and in there are four options in exam suppose a b c d and in none of them in none of them i is in numerator i is in, like i is in like that so they have given like this h cut by i 2 h cut by i 3 h cut by i fine and this minus h cut by i so you will be confused that your answer is coming i h cut and how how you will convert it into into how i can uh, come into denominator so guys uh, look there is one thing so if you want to convert this i into denominator you have to do one thing suppose it is plus i so if you want to write in denominator you will write it like minus i like this h cut by minus i suppose your answer was minus i h cut suppose your answer was minus i h cut it will become like this h cut if if you want to write i in denominator so it will be it was earlier minus i so now it will be plus i so that would be your answer so if suppose your answer was plus i h cut so according to option which will be correct this d option because it is minus h cut by i because when plus i will go in denominator it will become minus i i hope it is clear to you and um, this is very easy concept so you should be know, you should know about this right so the only value which px py these are having that is minus ih cut del by del x right so that was all about this one also also suppose if p comes so lot of people do this mistake that they consider sometime p as px so they sometime consider this p this one p operator as px which is wrong which you can't do that because p is summation of this px py and pz guys i have not used uh, this cap over it but just understand that uh, that is common understood that there is cap over it because uh, because i can't write it again and again so i think you will under, understand that always over operator there will be a cap although i'm not writing it right so if you are uh, if you are understanding it that is fine so if that the p is p is px plus py plus pz right so px is you know what is the value of px that is minus ih cut del by del x so what you will do you will write minus ih cut del by del x right like this suppose if i'm writing it here it will be minus ih cut del by del x clear and then py is there so that would be minus ih cut del by del y again clear and then one more thing is there pz so that would be minus ih cut del by del z clear guys so that is the basic p is equal to px plus py plus pz so can you spot something common in this equation that is minus ih cut here also it is minus ih cut here also it is minus ih cut so what i'll do i'll take this minus ih cut common and the everything will go in bracket like this del by del x this del by del x and this minus since i have taken minus ih cut common this will become plus del by del y and then plus this one this will again minus ih cut i have taken common so it will be del by del z also guys whenever you write del by del x plus del y del by del y plus del by del z so you can always replace it by this again this one del so you always call it del and it will be suppose if you, someone tell you that what is del that is del by del x plus del by wait wait plus del by del y plus del by del z so that is the operator this one right so minus i h cut del clear so now let's go to another slide just hold on so this was all about me all about this the position and the uh, momentum operator so without delaying let's get into more detail thing this one kinetic energy so now let's see of this one like what is kinetic energy how to write this op how to write it in this operator form so this is kinetic energy operator so i'm going to tell you how to write that so you can write it like this look it would be you know that what is the formula of kinetic energy that is p square by 2m right tell me that is the formula that is p square by 2m obviously we know that right so kx if i want to write for this kx direction right if i want to write for this kx direction so that would be px square by 2m 
obviously that would be px square by 2m clear so that would be px square by 2m it is square clear so you know what is the formula of px that is minus ih cut del by del x square this is the formula so if i put instead of px square that will become minus ih cut del by del x whole square divided by 2m clear so if i take everything common this minus 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 square will become plus you all know that this will become plus and this i and square we can write it like this i square and this h cut this will convert into h cut square and then then this del by del x so you will be writing this del by del x square like this del square by del x square and divided by 2m again so you know that i square value is minus 1 right i square value is minus 1 so can you replace the i square value by minus 1 so we will be writing it here minus and it would be h cut square by 2m del square by del x square so this is our kinetic energy operator so whenever you want to write the kinetic energy operator you will be writing it h cut square by 2m del del square by del x square clear so yeah so wait wait let me just go ahead yeah so kinetic energy if you if you want to write for this x direction that would be minus h cut square by 2m del square by del x square clear right and again if you want to write for ky so that would become minus h cut square by 2m del square by del y square clear and if you want to write for this kz so that would be everything will be same only you will be you will be changing these coordinates so this would be minus h cut square by 2m del square by del z square clear so and if you want to write the overall like the way we discuss in this one p1 so p was what p and px was different obviously so now again this k and this kx ky z ky and kz these all will be different clear so this k will be summation uh, sum of all this kx plus ky plus kz clear so if i want if i add them kx plus ky plus kz so that would be minus h cut square by 2m so let me just write it like like the here so for bio students like i have i know some bio student face difficulty you know in this basic mathematic also so uh, i want to i want that this bio students also get benefited right so if you want to write it so you you are simply writing the formula so kz is minus h cut square by 2m that would be del square by del z square okay so if you take minus can you see th two th uh, one thing common in all three that is minus h cut square by 2m so if you take this common minus h cut square by 2m so inside the bracket so it would be del square by del x square plus del square by del y square plus del square by del z square clear so guys tell me so earlier when i told you this del is del by del x plus del by del y plus del by del z clear so that was this clear so if you want to write for this del square so that del square will become del square by del x square plus del square by del y square plus del square by del z, del z square and the overall formula becomes like this minus h cut square by 2m del square i hope these things are clear to you these are very easy basic concept only clear only very very basic concept so i know you must be knowing about it right but if you don't know so it's uh, i think it's clear to you and if you have any doubts so you can ask me in the comment section so if potential energy operator comes if potential energy operator comes so how you will do the thing clear so guys potential energy is this wait so guys now this is potential energy operator right again we can define it in three direction that is vx vy vz and the function of it is also multiplication suppose you write v vx vy so if you write the overall one that would vx plus vy plus vz as we did in momentum one linear momentum one and this one the kinetic energy one right guys so one thing i i just want to tell you that the whenever you talk about the potential energy so basically if it comes in this sho for translational motion it is zero right but for this sho what is sho it is simple harmonic oscillator simple harmonic oscillator this thing will uh, study in the in details later on right but this is simple harmonic oscillator so there uh, the kinetic uh, this potential energy formula is half k x square you know that whenever you talk about the spring and all so this vibrational motion motion comes into picture and whenever you want to explain what is the potential energy do that you write always half k x square like that right so if it is for x direction you will write half k x square and if it is for y direction you will write half k y square and if it is for z direction you will write half k z square so this was all about this momentum uh, uh, 
this uh, operator and all so guys also if you want to write the total energy so total energy sometimes is denoted by h that is hamiltonian operator you call it hamiltonian operator and you always write the total energy will be sum of ki uh, kinetic energy and potential energy so guys what was kinetic energy that was minus h cut square by 2m del square that was this one kinetic energy plus v fine so guys uh, uh, this in questions basically no question will come from this one but uh, i just wanted to tell you that what is hamiltonian and this energy that would be sum of uh, this kinetic energy and potential energy this, right guys so let's see one more thing more so basically i just uh, tell you now just think same that how v is equal to half k x square come so this is the formula that v is equal to half k x square right this is the formula v is equal to half k x square you know that it comes from physics that uh, f is equal to minus k x and dv is minus f dx like there is no need of doing this so only thing which you need to remember is that v is equal to half k x square for vibrating particle and again which i told you that total energy will be kinetic energy plus potential energy that would be minus h cut square by 2m del square plus v total right guys so this was all about operator what are like what are operator how we write them how we like what are the values of operator right so in next in next one can you, you can see from here we are going so guys uh, in this video i'm going to tell you till this point only right so if you want to see more thing about commutator so also guys i'm going to tell you i'm going to teach quantum according to tricks like how you can remember in a long run so i'll be teaching everything according to tricks so i have very uh, brilliant tricks regarding this commutator and this uh, commutator and hermitian operator so i'll be telling you for that you have to watch my next lecture and next lecture link is uh, like around here i don't know right so you can see that so you will be clicking on that link and you will be heading to the next lecture so next lecture will be starting from commutator and i'm gonna uh, this is already uploaded the lecture is already up uploaded so you you just have to go to that video and i'm gonna link it up it will be here like around here only you can link it up you can cl click on it and you will be uh, redirected to that video directly so in next video i'm gonna talk about this commutator and hermitian operator so that's it for this one yeah